So what exactly is work? Well, in everyday language, work has many different definitions, but in physics, work is used to describe what is accomplished when a force acts on an object, thereby displacing that object. Now, in physics, work done on an object by constant net force is given by taking the magnitude of the force acting in the same direction as motion and multiplying by our displacement of the object. So, if we have the following object, a box, and a force acts on the box in the same direction as motion, parallel to our displacement, we can find the quantity of work by taking the force that acts parallel to motion and multiplying by our displacement. So that gives us the work. Now, unlike force and displacement, which are vectors, work is a scalar, and that means it only has magnitude and no direction. Now, what happens if the force acting on our object, the box, is at an angle with respect to the motion, with respect to our displacement of the object, and the angle is given by theta? Well, we still need to calculate what the force acting on the object is along the x-axis. And in this case, we have to simply calculate the x component of this force, this same force that acted prior. So now we simply take the magnitude of this force, F, and multiply by the cosine angle theta. And this gives us the x component of the force that acts in the same direction as displacement. So I multiply displacement by my x component force and I get my work done. So, once again, when the angle is zero degrees, what happens is the force acts in the same direction as displacement. And because cosine zero is one, this cosine of zero simply becomes this formula. So this formula simplifies to this formula when the cosine of the angle is zero. So that makes sense mathematically. What about when the cosine is 90? So that means the angle acting on the object or the force acting on the object is perpendicular to the motion, to our displacement. And in this case, no net for or no work is done on the box. And this makes sense mathematically because cosine of the angle 90 is zero. So this whole term becomes zero. And so whenever we have a force acting at a 90 degree angle to our displacement, zero work is done. So let's look at the following example. Let's suppose we have a person. The person is carrying a box and that person is moving with constant velocity along the x-axis. So that means because we have constant velocity, the box is moving with constant velocity, and that means we have a net force of zero. So notice that the only forces acting on the box are forces pointing along the y-axis. We have the force of gravity pulling downward on the box, and the force our hands create on the box that point in the opposite direction of motion. So we have no displacement along the y-axis, so no work is done along the y-axis. And likewise, because we have a net force is zero, zero work is done along the x-axis. So even though we have displacement, no work is done along the x-axis because our net force is zero. Now, if we want to actually pick the box up from the ground, work is done at that moment because the force we're applying, the net force we're applying on the box acts in the same direction as displacement and so work is actually done. But when we're holding the box still and walking with the box with constant velocity, no work is done on the box. So, we said earlier that work is a scalar, but what are the units of work? Well, work is given by taking the force and multiplying by distance. And since force has newtons and displacement is given in meters, 
then our work is given in newtons times meters, which is the same thing as saying kilograms times meters squared divided by seconds squared. And this unit is known as joule, given by the following J symbols, a symbol. So let's look at the following example and let's calculate the work done on, on a box. A person pulls a box at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the x-axis, with respect to the motion of the box. The force is 100 newtons and constant while displacement is 10 meters. Calculate the work done by the person on the box. So here we have the diagram. So our box is displaced, a displacement of 10 meters, and the force of 10 newtons is acting at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the motion, with respect to our displacement. So that means we have to find the x component of the force because we must find the force that's acting parallel to the displacement of the object. So we take cosine of the angle 30, we multiply it by 100 newtons, and we multiply it by our displacement of the box, and we get approximately 866 joules of work is done by the person on the box to move the box, displace the box a distance of 10 meters.